it's Roya. I'm back for another video as you guys can see by the title. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top five picks for starting your luxury handbag collection. I have gotten a couple of questions over the last few months just in reference to you all wanting to start your luxury handbag collection and kind of not knowing where to go. Um, what bags do I think are worth the money? Now of course when I get to selecting I have to select from my own collection. Um, I mean, I could talk about other bags, but I don't really re prefer to talk about things that I don't own because I feel like I can't really give you, like, the best opinion if that, you know, if I'm just being completely honest. So, for me, what I'm going to do is share with you guys just kind of like my top five picks in, like, categories. So, that way, if there's a specific type of bag you're looking for, you can kind of just go by category and not like, oh, I need to have this specific type of bag. So... What I'm going to do is just share with you guys my five kind of categories. I think that if you stick with these types of bags, you will for sure over the course of a, a 365 day uh, year, you know, create an excellent collection that will last you a lifetime. A little bit of history, I started my, well restarted my luxury collection in 2018. I was basically starting a new job. Um, everything that was in my collection was just not for me. Like I just had grown out of it. A lot of contemporary pieces that I did not want anymore. Um, and I kind of either sold or got rid of a lot of things. And I was down to three handbags. My Michael Kors East West Satchel, my, uh, Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac Crossbody, um, uh, like clutch and a tote from Ralph And Moore. those bags got me through until I, um, purchased something I'll be telling you guys about here in a little bit. So I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to jump into the five categories. And I really, really, really hope that this helps you all if you are kind of trying to dip your toe into luxury and you want to know where to start. So without any further ado, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's jump in. All right, y'all. So the first type of bag I think that you should get if you are considering starting a luxury handbag collection is some type of tote. Mine is from MCM. This is the Liz Medium Shopper Tote. However, Ever. several companies make one um like i told you guys i actually before purchasing this one i purchased the damier and bean um never full from louis vuitton with the ballerine pink rose interior i got to the store to collect that bag i ordered it online collected it in store and the quality was just not there for me for 1200 um at the time and so i left the store feeling defeated and did my research and came across this bag, fell in love with the Vecetos. At the time, I didn't even really know that they were like a luxury brand. I just knew that I liked the aesthetic of it and I needed something to go into this new job that I was getting. Um, so I did purchase this and I love it. I will never consider the Neverfull. Never, ever, ever. C feeling it compared to the MCM Clutch, top tier. I'm sorry. Um, it also comes with this pouch and this is the medium size y'all that I ended up using as a whole nother bag. We'll talk about this in a minute, but yes, $595. I, the money that I'd saved to purchase that Damier and Bean bag and I got my money back. I was able to buy the bag, get some extra and I had some extra coins and change left over. As y'all know, I've been hooked on MCM since 2018. So if you're in the market for a good tote or you're starting your luxury handbag collection, I think that starting with a good tote that gives you multiple functions is the best way to. Go. Number two would be a good everyday bag. Something that you can wear every day. You don't necessarily have to really think about it. Um, for me, not only is my everyday bag part of like, my crossbody collection or choice as well, but it is multifunctional. And that's going to be my Speedy V25 by Louis Vuitton. You can have, I know girls who the Pochette Matisse is like their everyday bag. Um, I know people who the standard Speedy with no bandolier is their everyday bag. For me, over the course, I've had this for two years, this has kind of become just my everyday bag. When I typically need to 
grab for my handbag. I'm typically in this bag. I love it. It does everything I needed to do and then some. It's It has like a long strap so I could wear it crossbody. It has a strap extender in the inside. So if I wanna take this out, I can wear it just as a shoulder bag. And if I want to just completely remove the um, strap all the, whoops, the strap all the way together and just wear it top handle, I have that option as well so i love that so i will say when it comes to your everyday bag because you're gonna wear it more often than you would like a tote or something i would definitely put a little extra coin now i wouldn't put all the coins just a little extra this bag retails for 1820 or 1860 dollars i paid a little over 14 um because i got it pre-loved from fashion file so think about it before you do it but i think finding a good luxury everyday bag that you and i'll be honest if it's my everyday bag it's not leather leather it it, it don't hold up it's not gonna hold up for what you want if you're a mom you're dinging it you're banging it um if i was still in the office this would still be my everyday bag because it could it's still going to be able to hold everything i would need for day to day so love this one in particular but like i said the pochette matisse is a great um everyday bag i love the fact that it's crossbody um what else is really real the ysl toy lulu love those i love seeing those around really really good for every day so just make sure you find yourself a good luxury everyday handbag all right number three is an evening bag if you're gonna have a luxury collection invest in getting yourself a nice evening bag you'll be surprised how when you're about to go out for a nice dinner or a nice evening uh after five wedding like you want to pull out something that looks really really nice and this was the best investment i made i didn't make it this year i made it last year if i'm not mistaken and it is none other than my ysl up town clutch in black with the gold hardware this is in a cav a pebble calfskin leather if i'm not mistaken it feels amazing i love it you guys have seen me wear this several times for date nights and things like that nice dinners our anniversary um have i worn this too whose wedding did we go to last i don't think i had this the last wedding that we went to but if a wedding comes up i'll be wearing it to the wedding it's just really really nice y'all and what i really like about this is that it's only 595 dollars. so if it, if you're speaking to starting a collection and putting your money getting the most bang for your money i think that you cannot go wrong with this it's a stunning piece every single time i see anybody with it i'm just like that is just so elegant and classy and it just elevates whatever you've got on when you wear this bag so i think investing in a good evening clutch a good evening bag a good night out bag is the best thing you could do if you're starting a collection and this one is one that i would really really recommend and consider because of the price point and what it does to elevate anything that you're wearing hands down ysl uptown clutch chef's kiss all right so the next thing i would say to invest in is a good crossbody bag now for me that's still my speedy b25 or even my alma bb because i wear that one crossbody as well but if i'm being completely transparent the thing that i wear the most crossbody would be the mcm liz pouch um i told y'all and i've said this before when i got the mcm tote my intention was not to wear it separate but ever since i've had it i've never worn these two bags together so that's why this is like a whole separate bag for me and why i'm mentioning it as my crossbody option again there are so many other crossbody options but again if you are starting a luxury handbag collection and you don't want to be breaking the bank and you want to like kind of get the most um out of your money this tote is everything but i wear this all the time y'all and i wear it sorry i'm just in the house chilling and i wear it crossbody it's perfection um no problems out of it at all this would even be good for like your everyday wear if you're more toned down than me and you don't need a whole lot this is really the bag that you're going to want to invest in then because you're going to get so much bang for your buck. You're going to get a nice tote bag and you're going to get your everyday crossbody bag too. So 
Find you something that you can wear crossbody. When you need to be hands-free, if you got kids, you're going to the parks, you're going to the grocery store, you're going to the malls, okay? Hell, girl, trying to get in the Starbucks line with two damn kids is a lot, okay? So I need to just be able to kind of throw it across me. And in the, well, in the spring and summer, this is like my crossbody of choice. I literally live in this thing. But... There are so many other, you know, choices. Like I said, sometimes I wear my Alma BV cross uh, crossbody a lot. Um, there are so many crossbody options, though. I really like the um, YSL camera bag. I think if I were to get another, like, crossbody bag, I would look into that. Um, just because of, like, to me, it's functionality. It's a nice camera bag, and I could wear it crossbody. But get yourself a crossbody option of some sort. A crossbody bag, a crossbody bag, a crossbody bag. I'm telling you now game changer and then last but not least i would say invest in something that is all leather so, so i'm going to show you guys my Givenchy antigona in the size small however another great all leather piece that actually doesn't cost a whole lot of money would be the um alexander wang rocco they have a mini and like a full size of that i do own that as well a great all leather bag but my fifth and final bag if you're starting a collection would definitely be a good all leather piece i mean they're always stunning to me you can't go wrong like you're going to feel the luxury um and your all leather piece in my opinion should always be a showstopper like even with my um alexander wang rocco when i pull that bag out y'all don't let me go to the mall people are walking like, up to me and she was just, oh my god i haven't seen that bag in forever and i'm just like okay we were in perimeter and i just was like oh all right but an all leather bag is typically like a showstopper. You could put it with any and everything and it's gonna look good and rich and luxe and just, you know, really push across your point. You know what I mean? Typically all leather bags are like, if you know, you know type bags. All leather bags as well, price point wise can be really, really affordable. So my fifth and final bag will always be a really, really good all leather bag like i said i just pulled this one out but i love my alexander wang rocco as well uh, my coach cassie another all leather bag that i love i was actually just wearing that like a week or two ago oh love a good all leather bag they just speak for themselves now when investing in an all leather bag though y'all i will say go the pre-love market because leather Although it's a good quality material, depending on the type of leather, the holdup is not as good and you will see wear and tear a little sooner than you would with like a canvas piece. But nonetheless, I think that an all leather bag when starting your luxury handbag collection is a must. All right, you guys, those are the five categories that I had to share with you guys today. So if you do nothing else, make sure you got you a good tote. Make sure you've got a good everyday handbag, a good evening bag, a good crossbody bag, and a good all leather handbag. And I promise you, if you take a year to invest in those five categories, you'll look at your collection and feel like, you'll feel like you don't need a whole lot more. Because once I got those five things in my collection, I really now I look at stuff and it's just like nothing's a need anymore. I really do feel like I have all my needs set out. So as always, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. I'll see you guys in my next video.